So I did this this morning and I'm going to take you through step by step how I made it, except this time I am going to, sorry, I don't want to get you, let me move my painting. This is dry. I'll give you a little close up actually, you'll see it's textured. And this time I'm going to do it on this um, slice of tree. I think it'll look really, really pretty. And then I've completely run out of resin. And what I was thinking I might do is paint a very thin coat of resin in this. And by the time you see this video, my resin will have arrived. So you'll be able to make a comparison. Okay, so now we'll get on with the first step. I've got like about four different projects going on at once. So this, what you need for this is a canvas or um, this is a wood panel. And the first step is you will need molding paste. And I got this from Jerry's Artarama. And you'll need some shells and some sand. So I'm going to do a similar shape to this. Actually reminds me of a harbor in... Um, Southside Marina in Turks and Caicos, where my lovely friend Karen lives on her boat, about there. And you could put some birds in the sky. I might do that on this one. But anyway, basically you get your moulding paste and you just place it. I'm going to move this one out of the way for now. Um, put that on the floor, put this centre, oh, but I do want to reference it, I'll stand it up here, there. So you just literally put your moulding paste down. And this dries overnight in any shape you want it. Might need another lollipop stick. Because this one's much bigger than the one I did, but I wanted to try it out first before I did a video. So here. And then you can create different um, you know sizes and shapes. Now, um, if you have a few areas that you've just dropped it on, just scrape it off with your finger. And good to go. Now for the sand, you literally just take take your sand, stand this up here, and sprinkle it on. Oops. Oh, I'm going to leave that on there. Actually, that's like a plant from the beach. Piece of seaweed I think so sprinkle on sand that's good um, but I am going to tip it first because let me move this one out of the way because I want to see where I'm going to place all my shells. So this, this tip. 
tip it up and you can see all the sand has stayed on top of the molding paste super pretty and then you can get your shells and just press those down and like on on this one oh that's off that one um these stayed like completely they're completely submerged in the, in the molding paste but you do have to push them down now that step's done i did put a sand dollar on there too um but i'm not going to Get all the sand off till it's completely dry. Put one more little shell in there. So tomorrow we'll come back and do the next step. Now it's the next morning. It's completely dry. I can shake off any excess sand. everything is rock solid so the first thing I like to do is as with this one create a really straight horizon line and a good tip to remember is as the ocean goes back the ocean's horizon line is dark and as the sky comes down, the sky's horizon is light. So we're going to figure out where to put the horizon line. And this one, I think I'm going to put the ocean horizon line here. Okay, so I have my paints. I am going to use some, use my paint choices, an aqua that I mix myself. This is a um, cobalt blue, a light blue, and a bright aqua green um, but in this kind of painting we're not really talking about like you can choose whatever kind of ocean color you want i just like the turquoise colors and now um as i said the horizon line on the ocean is darker. I'm going to do the horizon line first, as with this one. I'm going to get that nice and straight and just paint that in here up to the bark. And um, once that's done, I am going to do a time lapse on this video.
Okay, the ocean's done. I'm loving it. Now I'm going to mask off the ocean and this is all dried, by the way. I'm now going to mask off the ocean from the sky. And remember, I told you, oh, I fixed these lines, by the way, in this, in this painting. The ocean goes um, from darkest horizon to lightest, deeper to shallower, and the sky goes lighter on the horizon line. So just slightly different. Um, I'm using the same brush. Remember when I first started painting, I'd use like 10 brushes. There is no need, especially when you're blending. So I'm going to want to do a lot of white first. And normally, actually, I would use a bigger brush. Mm. Now I'm going to just stick with this one. And again, I'm going to time lapse this bit. Terrible. Um, anyway, it is finished. My new resin has just arrived and I've never used this before. It's called the Artist's Resin Naked Fusion Crystal Clear. So I am going to paint a thin coat in the ocean and also paint the sides of this bark probably. So this crystal clear, the artist resin is a one to one ratio. So I've got my scales, set those to zero. And I don't need a lot. There we go, 4.4 of the resin. Oh, it's actually really nice. Normally resin is so thick and gloopy. This is very runny. Um, set that back to zero. I hope this cup's big enough. Right, well, I'm going to have to move that into something else. Okay, I painted, put the resin in the ocean on that one. So that one's finished. And I am just going to, excuse me, I've got a paintbrush in my mouth. Mask off the sky. on this one. And then I'm just going to apply a thin coat of resin and I think I have decided that I am not going to paint the bark. I'm going to leave that Oh, natural. 
and I'll have plenty of resin left over for another project that I'm working on. So they're both finished. I want to show you the final result. I put a second coat of, painted a second coat of resin on them. And you can see how beautifully shiny the ocean is on both of them. And they are initialed, initialed. And they both have my personal seal and my signature on the back. And both of those will be going in my Etsy store. Thanks for watching and see you next time.